Well, I'm feeling like some dinner after all that stuff, so let's start up the generator and we can turn on the microwave. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna flip this breaker on for the microwave. Boom. That'll bring on the microwave. Very nice. And now we can cook our food. All right, now that the food is done, we can turn off the generator here. Woo. And it just gets instantly so much darker. Hell yeah, here's our delicious food. Oh man, right here. <laughs> it looks like a, a coffin or a sarcophagus or something. Like a mummy, you know? Very nice. That's the food. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing stuff right there. Wow. I'm gonna eat these now. They have to cool down a little bit, but I do have these voodoo chips. One of my friends gave these to me. They're the most bizarre tasting chips of all time, but they're really good. New Orleans kettle style voodoo chips. I don't know if this is if this is the same people that make voodoo donuts or not. I don't think they are. So I'm gonna start with these and then move on to that. It'll probably have cooled down. And I wanna tell you about how I was kicked out of a Home Depot parking lot. And I wish I had been filming it. My mistake, oopsie doopsie. I've not done a very good job of filming everything that happens. I've just been kind of filming when I want to, but that all changes. That all changes with today. I'm gonna start filming, you know, pretty much whatever I'm doing for the day. Even if I'm going out and hanging out with friends, I'm gonna record a couple snippets of it. If something like that happens, I'll update you. I'll either record it if I can, you know, if I'm if I'm actively getting kicked out of, of a parking lot, I'll, I'll record it if I can. If not, then I'll tell you about it immediately afterwards. But these voodoo chips, they're like, they're like salt and vinegar flavor, and they're kind of gross, but good at the same time. They're orange. They have such a bizarre flavor. Oh man, they're good though. Definitely has vinegar in it, yeah. Mm. But anyway, I've told you all my plan now, and that is to take this RV to a certain spot and just like, just park it there for several days at a time to get my work done two or three days in a row and then leave after that. So I tried to do that at Home Depot. I went to Home Depot and I parked. I went in and I bought a $20 multimeter that I can use to, to test the level of the battery that I have because I could buy a battery monitor, but that, you know, that tells you exactly the percentage that it's charged at, but costs a hundred bucks, 200 bucks for that. I could just buy a multimeter for $20 to measure the voltage and that will tell me approximately how charged it is. Give me a ballpark estimate. That's good enough for me. I don't really care. So I gave them business on day one and then I, I spent the night. The reason I decided to do that was, be, was because I saw three other RVs in that parking lot. There were three other RVs in that parking lot. And I was like, hmm, they didn't leave when the store closed. And I was like, I wonder if I can do the same. So I did and it was fine. I woke up the next day, everything fine and dandy. The next day I went in and I bought that, that battery charging machine for like 60 bucks. Before heading into the store, I looked online specifically for that and I was like, this is the one I'm gonna get. It says it's in stock, so I went inside and the box was already opened for the one on the shelf. So I asked an employee, I was like, hey, you know, is there any sort of discount you can give? Cause this is, this is not a new product. It's open box. They're like, we can do 10%. So I saved about six bucks on it, which is great. But that was like a $60 purchase that I made. And then I noticed that all the RVs were still there. So I was like, maybe I'll just, I'll just stay another night. If they're all, they all did the same thing. And so I did it too. And the next day, one of them left in the morning and I was like, hmm, interesting. But then none of the other ones left. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I didn't actually need to, to spend another night there. I just needed to spend the day there and then leave at night to get my work done and then leave at night. But a couple hours, into my work, I got a knock on the door. It was a tow towing company. They came to tow my RV. Obviously, they're not going to tow it with me in it, so I just, I just left. You know, they asked me to leave, and I was like, okay, I can do that. They were nice about it. But man, I spent so much money at Home Depot, and they did that to me. Wow. I'm a little bit offended by it, honestly. You know, they could have just had management come out and be like, hey, thank you for your business, but we don't allow overnight parking here. You know, instead they called a tow truck on me. You know what I mean? It's just like, what the hell, man? Everyone is so unfriendly. It's, this lifestyle is, it's not, California's not friendly to this lifestyle. But it is what it is. It's just the perks of, of this life, you know? The quirks. And it's something you've got to get used to, I guess. So, you know, I still get to get used to it myself, but maybe one day, you know? These chips are so weird tasting. Oh my God. They're bizarre. It's like vinegar and salt and it's, it's good, but it's so weird tasting. Maybe a little bit too much vinegar. If they dialed it back a little bit, it'd be good be very good. Yeah, I mean, that's just something that I don't like to do is is go somewhere for the day and then have to pack everything up and then go somewhere for the night and pack everything up again and go for some more, just keep doing that. It's it's annoying. I just want to set up for a few days, get some work done and then leave. That's what I want to do. Not have to pack up and unpack a million times in a row. It really limits your productivity. And you know, speaking of productivity, you know what I mean? I don't know what to do with my main channel anymore. So I wish this was my main channel, Raw RV, I wish it was. It sucks because I don't know, I don't know what to do with the main one and I'm not gonna make anything unless I know exactly what to do, you know what I mean? And it sucks because I'm not posting as much there and it's making me less money because of that, but I'm not gonna post unless I have a, a good idea or for something, if it's, if it's something fun that I wanna do, you know? So that in turn makes this lifestyle harder because now it introduces money as an object, you know what I mean? But hey, that's a taste of the real world, you know what I mean? But really quick, before we continue on with the adventure, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor. 
And that's me, my Patreon. I do have a Patreon for this channel specifically. It's linked in the description down below. If you enjoy what you're watching, your support would mean the world. It's a brand new Patreon. I have yet to really flesh out all the perks and everything, but I'll be doing that soon. So there's more rewards coming, just stay tuned for that. But right now, really, this is a great way to help fund my adventures if you like watching this content. Your support would mean the world to me. So please go check it out. And also, I do have social media for this channel, Twitter and Instagram. Those are in the description as well. If you want to follow along, I tweet occasionally, I, I post to Instagram occasionally. That's another way to keep up to date with what I'm doing in the RV. So go check it out. Links in the description down below to everything, including the Patreon. Back to the video. These chips are good, but there's just too much vinegar. No, oh God, there's a little too much. If there was less, it would be perfect. They'd be perfect chips. I mean, I think it's time to try these again. Mm. Very delicious. I do like these a lot. These are very good. I, I will say these are very good. Mm. I'm at a crossroads in my life and I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's it's interesting. I have a lot of other side things that I'm working on that have nothing to do with YouTube. I wish that this could be my main channel. This is what I love to do. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I love I love traveling. I love the, this lifestyle. I don't know. Your support on Patreon can help get there. I mean, there's a link in the description down below if you want to join the Patreon. But I do, I do think I believe in this channel. I do. It's, it starts off very slow. I don't want to promote it on my main channel that much because I want it to grow organically, you know? I think that with consistent uploads that it, it does have a chance to actually grow, but it's going to take years. It's going to take years, but I do think it has a chance. It's going to be very, very, very slow. I predict that, you know, maybe by the end of this year, it'll reach a thousand subscribers. Maybe even longer than that. And then by the end of year two, it might reach 2,000 subscribers. By the end of year three, maybe 5,000. By the end of year four, maybe 10,000. You know what I mean? It's gonna be very slow, I think, for a channel like this. But what's good is that this content can just go forever. Unlike the main channel that focuses on trendy stuff, woo, that no one cares about after two days, you know what I mean? So I think it has a chance, I really do. I think it has a chance to be successful. I just gotta actually take it out and travel around with the RV, you know what I mean? But it's too expensive right now. Gas prices are too high. I'm trapped. It's, it's too expensive. But I do think it's interesting to see, you know, everything that happens. Even if I'm not traveling. It's, just, it's an interesting way of life. I don't know. I think everything about it is interesting. I, I, I would imagine you feel the same way because you're watching, you know? Also, today is the first day where there's no more mask mandate in California. And I, when I was at Walmart, about half of everyone was wearing masks and the other half were not. And it was bizarre. It was bizarre. Even though I'm fully vaccinated, I felt really awkward to not wear a mask. So I decided to wear one anyway. <laughs> because, like, it's, it's been ingrained into my head so much it's it's awkward it's hot if if nobody was wearing masks then i i wouldn't feel obligated to wear one but i just felt like i didn't want to be one of those people even though it's not a thing anymore because now everyone's either vaccinated or stupid at this point so they just need to bring back the disneyland annual pass is what they need to do okay that's when it will go back to normal all right <laughs> that's my benchmark well now that dinner is taken care of i don't usually do this but i feel like it's been a rough day for me it's been a rough start to the day it's everything has taken way longer than I wanted it to, and I need to stay up pretty much all night, pulling the all-nighter to get all my work done. Uh, about a week ago, I set a rule in place where I would stop at 5 p.m. every day for my work, but I haven't even begun yet, and it's after 5 p.m., because I've been going all over the freaking state of California today to pick up drawing tablets and go get my RV, switch it out with my car, all this stuff, so that rule does not apply to today. So, while I am nowhere near a store, what I do have is the rest stop vending machines. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna be so overpriced, but let's go take a look. All right, my keys. Get all the lights off here. Get my shoes on here. You can barely see. Oh man, shoes, very good. So we can walk, you know, outdoors. Always a good thing to do. Okay, turn off the hall light here. Boop, and we'll turn off this one. Unlock the door. Ow. And step outside. Okay. Probably need my wallet if I'm gonna go. Let's turn on a light somewhere. Where the hell is the light? There it is. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go check out the vending machines here. Yeah, here at the, the rest stop, it's just full of trucks. Full of trucks. It's very interesting. I'm gonna walk up right between one of them here. It has an aesthetic of its own, right? I'm looking for Monster. So Monster is E3, E4. We type it in here, E4, it's $4. Even Rockstar, E1, which is typically like half the price, is still $4. I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Well, that was a failure. I guess I, I, guess I won't be having a beverage tonight. That's okay. Here we are, very nice. I think what I may do instead is just make some coffee. 
or maybe not. I don't know. It all depends. I kind of decided to stop drinking coffee because it makes me feel not the best. It makes my stomach start churning and running and gives me diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, but I gotta stay up somehow, right? So maybe I will make some coffee. <laughs> 